Welcome to r slash am I the a-hole where OP tells her roommate she doesn't give a f if her boyfriend could die from his allergies. I'm weaker. I'm stupider. Stick around for this roommate horror story as well as an update on how it all ended. Am I the a-hole for telling my roommate that I don't give a f about her boyfriend's allergies. I, 24 female, have been living with my roommate, Layla, 25 female, for about 10 months. Layla started dating Kyle about six months ago. Kyle has severe food allergies to shellfish, nuts, and soy, as well as a lot more mild slash moderate allergies. I use nuts and soy a lot in my cooking and some occasional shrimp. At first, Layla would tell me that Kyle was coming over and I would just adjust whatever I was planning on making if it was something that would be aerosolized, mostly nuts, and it was fine. He's never had any reactions at our apartment from my food, but it slowly escalated and now they want me to not keep any ingredients in the apartment that could cause him anaphylaxis, even if I'm not actively eating or cooking it while he's over. I've refused and they've both pushed back a lot on it and I snapped a little and told them I don't give an F about his allergies. I can accommodate him to an extent, but I don't care if the contents of my cabinet make him uncomfortable. He doesn't need to be near my things at all. They're being very dramatic and insisting I'm gonna kill him with my selfishness by having closed jars of nuts in the kitchen I pay to use, but I'm not going to have my diet restricted by someone who doesn't live here. Layla isn't speaking to me at all right now. I feel a little bad now because I do understand how serious allergies are, but I also think they're overextending boundaries by telling me what I can or can't eat when he's not even here. Does this dud live with his mom or something? Like, why can't they just go over to his place all the time? Absolutely not the a-hole. If you chose to live somewhere where those types of restrictions weren't on you when you first moved in, they can't change anything. I have a huge pet peeve against people who walk into other people's houses and expect them to change their lifestyle to something to accommodate them when it's not a place where they live. And what an a-hole of a roommate. The moment she starts getting a little bit of dich, she starts being rude to her roommate. Ew. The update on this thread. I sat down with Layla a few days after my initial post and really talked with her about why I felt her and Kyle's request was unacceptable and I laid out my biggest concerns. One, I eat mostly plants, so nuts and soy are like 50% of my protein, so my grocery bill would increase because I'd have to make it up in animal products. Who's going to pay for that? I'm not vegetarian, but I don't really want to eat like that and I definitely don't want to pay for it, so would they make up for that increase? Two, I honestly didn't trust them to stop there. I already did what I felt was a reasonable accommodation and it wasn't enough. So how long till they take coconut, eggs, and tomatoes from me too? Damn, is homeboy just like allergic to the earth? Like, bro, have you ever tried just not? Three, it was weird AF to ask me in the first place. And I felt really disrespected because this is my home and I don't take second place to a guest. I can to her personally, of course, but that doesn't extend to the apartment. Department. I said I would agree to continue not using his serious allergens when he was present or soon to be, and that was the line. It didn't go over well at all, and Layla told me I was overreacting, and I could just do it, and kept talking over me when I tried to say that I wouldn't. Eventually, she slipped up with the, well, what if he moved in, and I said absolutely not, and ended the conversation with her for the night. Bro, not the move in together after, what, six months? Ugh. Red flag on the play. I'm throwing it. I'm throwing it. We argued in circles about it for nearly two weeks, and once it was out, she didn't drop it. I realized it wasn't going to get better, so I did what I didn't want to do and told her that I was going to the landlord about breaking my part of the lease, and she freaked out out. I don't know where Kyle's money goes, but apparently he doesn't have any because she was yelling about not being able to afford it on her own and he couldn't help even if he moved in. Loser. Loser. I told her that this had gone way too far and I didn't think I could be happy living here with her anymore. If it were easier for her to leave instead, that would be fine too. She was really upset and I said I wouldn't force her out or leave her suddenly on the lease alone, but it was one or the other. Eventually she accepted it and decided she would move back in with her dad. That was the end of April and she's fully moved out as of this week. My childhood best friend Allie has been flip-flopping on moving to my city for forever now and me calling and saying I had a cheap one bed 
bedroom if she came right away got her to finally pull the trigger on it. And it helped Layla out because she didn't have to pay to break the lease since I agreed to cover the full rent at my own risk. Allie has stuff to tie up in our home state still, but she's already sent me half of July's rent. I just gotta squeeze for a little while, but I'll make it. I'm super excited to see her and show her around. Plus, we've been cooking together since fourth grade, so that'll be a nice change, LOL. And I can get a cat. It's been a bit of a rough couple of months, but I'm very happy with how things are looking right now, so I just wanted to share with you guys. Aw, well, sounds like a relatively happy ending. I don't know if you should have covered for Layla like that. That's definitely not your responsibility, but hey, maybe you're just a better person than I am. That's all the MI the a-hole post I had for this video. I really wanted to try animating something along with the story just because it's an idea I've had that I thought would improve my videos but increase my editing time. So I thought I'd do it just for one Am I the a-hole post with an update to give you guys a little bit of a taste and see how it goes. So let me know in the comments what you thought of this Am I the a-hole post as well as the editing on this video. Is it too much? Do you prefer the other way or do you actually enjoy it? Would love to know your guys' thoughts. Anyways guys, click right here to watch another one of my videos. Click here to watch my podcast and I will see you guys next week.